our NAC plaster lift technique, the article is published in PR Global this month. And uh, this, this is a constant effort for the last 10 years. Uh, we want to avoid the two stage procedure in the severe gynecomatia, grade 3 and grade 4 gynecomatia, when there is a lot of skin redundancy. Usually, what normally we do earlier days is we do the liposuction and gland excision. Sometimes, at the same time, we do the circumarular mastopexia also, venulis mastopexia also. Or we usually when you do the same stage, what happens is the skin necrosis, the areola necrosis is very common. So sometimes we do it as a second stage procedure. Like first we do only gland excision and liposuction, then we do the after six months we do the venulis procedure to manage the skin excess. That that also gives a bad scars all around the areola. We are trying to uh, figure out a procedure where we can manage the loose skin without doing the Benelis procedure or a two-stage procedure. So initially in few cases I have used to make a bite uh, externally to the skin and try to push it and hang it for some time but that, that gives very bad results and we tried a lot of procedures but nothing worked but finally we come up with the plastering technique and uh, it really worked very well that is the technique is published in this uh, article. I hope this, uh, this uh, procedure is going to be very useful for uh, plastic surgeon across the world to manage the uh, skin redundancy in the grade 3 and grade 4 gynecomatias. Thank you.